You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. This is Rom Wills about your business. Review your past year. So, I, the year is coming to an end, 2019. And it, it was a good year for many people. For many people, it wasn't a bad year. It was a bad year. But you know what? It is what it is. But whatever it is, you need to review the past year. This is particularly true for people in business. So, you understand something. When you look at the past year, one, you can get an idea about patterns. And that's any year. And what you're going to find is that, you know, some sales for you or services might be stronger in February and March, but not so much in April and May. And then might pick back up in July, go down again, and then come back up. That's one of the things. You want to just go back over the year and say, okay. When were the sales good? When were the sales bad? When was I just cruising through? So that that's one thing. Then you want to focus on what type of products were selling for you. What type, what was selling for you, whether it's a product or a service, you know, and what what was selling for you, what wasn't selling for you. You know, if it was a product, all right, you know, pretty much a hey, okay that does good for you if it you know if if it did good for you if it didn't you didn't hardly move any it's like oh okay i can't do that again you know if it's a service all right what what time of year are they coming for the service like it could be i don't know it could be something related to massage services you know people might come in at a certain time you could be a gym owner and notice that people tend to sign up uh especially around January it's always a big time for the uh, gym but then start tapering off like in March or something and then might pick up a little bit might pick up a little bit like uh, after the summer and then you know you go from there and, and I just use the gym as an example but it can be any service that you have you know now what you want to do with that is you want to get an idea because whatever patterns are set that year, you know, the past year or the in uh, previous years, you know, if you get a chance, look back at previous years. What were the good sales times when it wasn't? Then you can set the pattern for the coming year. You know, one thing they do at many retail establishments is a, a particular sales are compared to whatever happened the year before. Now, if it was less sales than the year before, it's considered bad. If it was more sales, considered good. You know, so you want to do that. And see, it gives you an idea what to do for the future. And I'll get more into that in the next uh, podcast. But you just want to review it. You want to see, okay, what worked for you? What didn't work for you? What you could do better? You know, like, for example, okay, you... Let's okay. Let me use a better example for what you were selling, but what didn't sell well. Not only you know not to do that product or that service, but it might not be that. It could be the marketing. You might have to look at the marketing. Okay, how did you promote this product or service, and how come people didn't take it? You know, you might have to think. Well, maybe I need to come down in price, or maybe I need to market it better. Maybe I need to see who's actually like using that service, who's buying that product. You gotta look at. You gotta look at every single thing. You know, what time of year was it? What type of people bought it? What was their age range? You know, what phew, could have been a religion or something? You know, what was it about it? You know, I remember I worked at this. Uh, the small retail shop, it sold African clothing clothing, and also it sold uh, sculptures and things like that. One of the things that I picked up on, I wasn't even on it, but I picked up on, we had great sales whenever a particular church had uh, like um, African Heritage Day or something. They, they, people would come in and buy some African clothing so they could wear it to the church service. So we took full advantage of it. Uh, you know, the uh, owner of the place, she knew that would happen, and she always uh, scheduled more people to work on those particular days. You know, so, you know, if you in that same situation, you notice you get certain sales, certain events are happening, you can go for it. When I was working at a major retail place, one thing they did was keep an eye on one section of the place, kept an eye on local schools, and whenever they had homecomings and proms and uh 
things of that nature, and then they would act accordingly. So you want to look back at the year. You want to review. You want to review the good stuff. Keep that going. Figure out how you can add to it. Just because it's good, don't be like, well, I don't have to touch it. No, figure out how you can keep it going and make it even better. You know, if it was something bad, well, definitely it's like, okay, we might have to change some stuff. See what you can change to make it better. Now, if you got two straight years of it, you know, it's like, um, this might not work. All right? So that's, okay, so you do that too. Right? And then, um, you know what, you write down everything and then you'll be ready to go into the next year. Now, I'm going to get into that in my next podcast. So until then, let's go make that money.